If you've been putting so much effort in your sales and marketing, but you have not been getting the desired results that you want, you need to pay very close attention to the six lessons I'm going to be sharing with you today because it is going to be a game changer for you. Today, we're going to be looking at lesson 27 to 32 in the 201 sales and marketing lessons I have learned in 10 years by Tony Omoto Show. If you've not yet been following, today is the day five of our 30 day sales and marketing lesson series. We already covered lesson one to 26 in day one to day four. Let's get started with lesson 27. Lesson 27 here says, people are always tuned into what is in it for me. Make your heart so obviously valuable that they would feel foolish to ignore it. See, let me tell you something. Human beings naturally are selfish. What we are thinking about is the advantage. What am I going to gain out of this? If you want people to pay attention to your marketing, you need to really itemize that thing that the, all the things that are going to be benefiting from it, not um, saying maybe the products benefit or the advantage of the products. They don't care. What they care about is me. What is in it for me? I'm moving on to lesson 28. But lesson 28, it goes, there is hardly no type of customer in terms of pocket size you can't find online using a combination of Facebook and Google. To those of you that used to say, my followers that are following me or the people seeing my posts, they don't have money or this. No! It is because you do not understand the algorithm yet and you do not even know how to reach them. When people have money, don't be, don't be deceived by there's no money in Nigeria. They lie. There's money in Nigeria. Don't let anybody deceive you. Moving on to lesson 29, it says a lot of responsibility rests on your headline. It's responsible for stopping people in their tracks and picking their interests. A great headline needs to answer each of the following. Who cares? Why should your reader care? What is the need for them? Why should they keep reading? Do you see that? If you're using text, for instance, you need to make sure that you have a very bold headline. That once they read that headline, not even bold, a captivating headline, once they read it, they want to know what is there, what is there, are you serious? Going on to lesson number 30, right? Lesson number 30, yes, is the three biggest things that get people to be act at their deepest core are number one, fear. Two, making babies, aka Number three, protecting babies. If you can figure out a way to use them in your marketing, please do. You see these three things? These three things. People are scared. Nobody likes to be broke. Remember the example I gave yesterday that I talked about acne, I talked about alopecia. Me, I don't look as, I don't want to lose my hair. So if I see people addressing my fears, I will naturally want to listen, right? People have their fears. And once you address those fears, they'll pay your attention and they'll buy what it is that you're selling. Now to lesson number 31. Lesson 31 says people don't buy products, they buy the feelings and the benefits they will get from using the products. A woman does not buy just a low calorie diet to become thin. She is buying a sexy, attractive, and younger body. Always remember this. People don't buy products. They are not buying products. They are buying the feelings and the benefits attached to it. People want to really know what is in it for them. Be amaring on those things. That is how you are going to get them to drop money for you. Trust me, I do it all the time and it works for me. Now to the final lesson of the day, lesson 32, which says, in order to create effective marketing for your product, it is your job to know the market very well. Some of you used to jump. Yes, you used to bear, you just jump, you just say that somebody, some people are, and this one is what, what people are doing now that they are making money, you, or you just hear some things, you, your body will just start shaking and you just jump inside it, you don't even know whether people need the product, you don't even know whether it's in high demand, you don't even, you don't understand anything, you don't even know the market, you don't even know who you want to sell, some of you are running a business, you don't know who your target audience is, you don't have a customer avatar, and you're complaining of not making sales. You need to really figure all of these things out. You need to make sure that all of these things are in place if you want your marketing to be effective and if you want to make money in your business. I hope you got value from today's lessons. Let me know in the comment section if you got value. And if you have questions, feel free to also drop your questions in the comment section. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to share this video. And also, do not forget to follow me. If at this point you're not yet following me, something is wrong somewhere. Tap on that plus sign to follow my account. Find the follow me button somewhere. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please, Tap on that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you tomorrow in the next lessons.